Good morning, beautiful people. From Mendoza City here in Argentina. We are so excited to explore this city. When we did a lot of research on Mendoza, the number one thing that came up was visiting the wineries, but they are outside of the city. And there were a lot of other things as well that came up outside of the city, but there's not that much that came up actually in Mendoza City. So our plan today is kind of just to wander around, check out the city, and that's going to be our first day here. Tomorrow we'll go explore a little bit further. The weather is immaculate. Oh my gosh, it's stunning weather. It's giving us, I think, just the weather is making us so happy. But then the fact that we're in right now, this is Plaza Independencia. Plaza Independencia, which is the main plaza, like the town center. It's really nice. It's early morning and people are just strolling, doing, going about on their days. So we're gonna take a little walk around this park. It's not too big, so it shouldn't take us too long. And then we're gonna go find the Central Market. They have these two really nice bouncers in this park. And one of the nice things is, we've been in Central America, well, sorry, in South America for a few months now. And these are the first fountains that are actually turned on. <laughs> most of the time, apart from in Cusco, the one in Cusco is turned on, but most of the time, all the fountains are turned off. But yeah, to have the fountains just working is actually really nice. <laughs> We've just wandered literally like 20 meters and there's a uh, theater right here in the park, which is really cool. They have a QR code on the sign here so you can see what's on. I just scanned it and tonight is the 19th edition of the Municipal Comedy. Anyway, there's a comedy on tonight, which is really cool. It doesn't say that it costs anything, but there is a ticket office there. So I don't know whether it actually costs anything. I would love to go to a comedy show. Like comedy shows are so fun, but as a comedy, you really need to know the language. But definitely when you come here, check out what's on because it might be something you can enjoy. Are you a tourist? I'm gonna do the sign. <laughs> <laughs> sure. We made it to Mercado Central. And right away your nose is just boom, boom, boom. Oh my goodness, Parma ham, cheese. This looks like such a nice market. Like there's lots of uh, like little food stores. Very like artisanal, gourmet, really nice. Makes you want to buy some stuff. Uh, mostly eat some stuff. So we managed to find the food court area. It's called the Rincon de Comidas. And it is so cute. The little stalls are really old fashioned. Like they've kept their traditional layout. It's really, really nice. Everything here seems really affordable. Like you can get a whole meal for about 5,000 pesos at the moment. We just did a quick walk through. It's not that big, it's very local as well. Not a single tourist apart from us. But we're just gonna carry on walking around. It's still very early. We just had breakfast. So we will satisfy all of you foodies by trying all the local stuff for as much as we can. So now we're just gonna wander around. It is a city life here, so noise, buses and all that, but a beautiful city nevertheless. It is such a beautiful, but also very hot day here in Mendoza. We're heading towards the Park San Martin, I believe it's called. It is the biggest park here in Mendoza. And because it's such nice weather, why not go for a little wander around the park? It's so nice, but my gosh, it's hot. 
we're ready for a fresh cold drink, but I don't know if there's gonna be anything around the park because it's very much a residential neighborhood. So we'll see what we find. But the park is huge, 394 hectares. To put that in perspective, it's bigger than Central Park in New York. But yeah, we're gonna go have a little wander around. There's, a, oh, look at those little statues up there. It's so nice. I really don't wanna compare Argentina to Europe because I feel like that might offend someone, I don't know. But it does have a very similar vibe to Europe. It's a good thing, like it's a good vibe. We love it. It feels like happy and active and nice. Refreshing juice. Did you get it just for juice? Huh? Quite the process for juice. I have no idea what's going on. I have no idea what we've ordered. <laughs> what's going on? Gracias. Okay, so it's like a smoothie. It's not, uh, that's what they mean by licuado. It's not the juice extract. I think she blended with a lot of ice because it's so cold. Just like a whole orange, which is perfect. And massive this was 1500 pesos which at the moment is less than two Australian dollars mm. Mm. oh my god that's so good it's like a fresh fruit slushy Center. Well, not really the center of the park, no, but we have. The, so I, far, yeah. I think the center area where people go, there is this huge, what looks like a man-made lake. There's a beautiful breeze at the moment. We've got our cold drink. Oh, yeah. This is such a nice day. I feel like we could not have planned a more perfect way to spend a beautiful Saturday here in Mendoza than by just like walking around the city and coming to the park. This is so nice. I love this. Four dollars for a litre of beer at a restaurant, which is a bit of an upscale looking restaurant. I'm just glad we're sitting outside. It is too nice a day to be inside. So we're gonna have a nice slow lunch, a couple of beers. I didn't know Stella was popular here because I've seen a lot of brewery advertising Stella. So that's a good thing because it's one of my favorite beer. So I know we're in wine region and we're currently drinking beer, which is so wrong, but we already have visited a lot of wineries when we were in Capiate in our last video, and we are going to visit the wineries here as well and drink a lot of wine. I just got my burger, but it looks so different from any burger I've ever had. Oh my god, that is massive. Don't worry about it. No uh, fine dining experience at the restaurant that we've chosen. We literally just chose what we're walking by that had a good deal. But it seems, I can't believe how big your burger is. That is insane. But pretty good deal. So for 5,000 pesos, we're getting both of our meals plus a dessert. And that was such an enjoyable slow lunch that it is starting to get super hot here right now. It's 2.30 p.m. I think we're going to take a little siesta in our apartment and maybe we'll try come back out when it's a bit cooler. <laughs> Good morning, beautiful people. When we left yesterday and we said we were going to go home and relax and then come out when it was cooler, we ended up buying a bottle of rosé and... Uh, we got the tanks. Oh. We got the but it's a new day and today we're actually gonna head out of Mendoza and explore some of the things to do outside of the city. It is another beautiful day here in Mendoza. We're currently walking to the bus terminal because we are going to the Cachiuta Thermal Baths. I really hope I'm pronouncing that 
in the realm of closeness. Anyway, they're meant to be these beautiful hot springs that are just an hour from Mendoza here. So we're gonna go spend the day there. It's supposed to get to 36 degrees today, which is so hot. And hopefully they have some cooler baths and they're not all really hot. <laughs> Si. No, no. Nada? No. Oh no. It's a whole day. Oh, okay. The whole day? It's sold out. Holy shit. I didn't realize it would sell out. Gracias. It would be 12,000 in Uba, but I don't even know if Uba would accept it because it's an hour away. We randomly tried to do an Uba and someone did accept it. It's going to cost us 14,000 pesos. Now the only question we have is how do we come back? So we're gonna ask this guy. We try to come back, go back to the ticketing bus thing to see if we can buy a return. She said something, no, 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 something I don't know. That's so future problem. That's future problem. Yeah. Uh, we literally arrived the same second as the bus that we're supposed to get on. Gracias, eh? So the Uber driver offered us to bring us back but for a bit more than double the price, which is completely fair. I mean, it's he in... He have to come all the way back here. Well, he's got to go all the way back to Mendoza now, then come all the way back here and then go all the way back again. Right? Yeah. There's also one problem at a time and so now we made it and it looks gorgeous. It is so stunning here it's so dry and arid all of the mountains are just completely bare red rock but then down by the river are these really vibrant green trees oh, it's really pretty but just as mendoza there are not many foreign tourists like here i haven't seen a single foreign tourist okay we made it in 5,000 per person. From what I read online, the lower pools are the colder pools and the higher you get, the warmer they get. So I think those ones at the top are the warmest. Let's go find, hopefully somewhere a tad quieter. Jacqueline and I have never been to a water park, but I feel like this might be the closest we've ever been to a water park. Nowhere because we're kind of doing a little exploration at the moment, getting the lay of the land. But somewhere there is an adults only pool as well, so maybe we can find that. But it is hot, so it's that time. <laughs> it is super fresh, super cold in this section, which I think is called the Lazy River. Um, and people just like walk around it I guess because it's not very deep at all but this is just the first one and it is a really hot day so I think we'll enjoy the cold water if we go upstairs later I believe the water will be warmer so maybe we'll go check that out and there's probably the adult section upstairs I would assume we'll see All right, the pools are amazing, but we should have brought snacks because Max and I are already hungry and we've only been here for like an hour. So come out for lunch. With the wristbands, you can go in and out so you don't have to eat lunch in the pools. I'm pretty sure there was a restaurant in there, but we didn't even bother looking. We've come out and there is like a lot of uh, street people, hawkers, like trying to get you to come eat at their restaurant. We just chose one. We don't know which one's good and which one's bad. But this one does an asado, which is an Argentinian barbecue. So we're really excited we get to try that. It's 12,300 and she said it should 
be enough for two people. So we're starting with some empanadas. And she brought some vinegar and chili sauce for them. Mm. These ones are very oily. Yeah. Much more oily than any empanada I've ever had before. Ah, looks like there is minced meat inside them. Actually, a really good empanada. And the flavors, so yummy. And the only thing is that the crust is like really soft. Like it's just been cooked in way too much oil or something. I don't know. It's not crispy, crunchy, like the empanadas we have been eating. But last time we ate empanadas was in the Salta region and they're apparently the best empanadas in all of Argentina. So maybe all the empanadas are downhill from here. I don't know. Wow. Wow indeed. This is wow. Very meaty. So much meat. In proportion to the salad, a lot of meat. Yeah, at least we've tried once. It's just that we don't know what any of the meats are either. Tomato does a good. I'm a little bit sad because we really wanted to have like an Argentinian asado and we thought this was the perfect opportunity. But honestly the meat is really chewy. It's like tough. There's a lot of fat on it, which doesn't bother me. I like fat, but when it's tough and half of it is fat, it's a little disappointing. It wasn't expensive, but it definitely wasn't worth what we paid. All right, Caratera 82. Can't recommend it because the food was bad and the service was average. And then they asked for a tip at the end, which I know it's like a customary like to give 10% tip and we pretty much always do but if you don't provide good food and good service then why should you but what's done is done and now we can go back and enjoy the pools such a cute old bridge so It's still fresh. <laughs> Finally, I can be a child. I had to be such an adult ever since we've stepped in here. Now I can be childish. I want to try this one. <laughs> cold water has gotten to us and we're actually pretty cold we're coming to the hot pool now it's so warm and nice so it's like nice. a bath well that was our time at uh, hot springs it was so worth coming here it was so nice definitely look at trying to get the bus save yourself a lot of money we were paying thirty thousand to get home which is quite expensive but we still had an amazing day and we're not done here in Mendoza. We still have one more day of exploration, but this video is already gonna get too long if we add a whole extra day. So that's gonna be in a separate video. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye guys. Bye.